Ciao ragazzi! This is Katie Portanova, and you're listening to Florence and Me. I'm a lover of stories and all things Italian, and I'm going to bring you all that in this podcast. My intention is to inspire you to step out of your comfort zone and explore life and travel the world. Join me as I tell you my story and many others about Italy and my love, Florence. Andiamo! Ciao ragazzi! Come va? How are we all doing? So it's been a while since I've been on the the pods, <laughs> the podcasts. Um, we've been traveling. We went to Key West, which I think I talked about in a few episodes before. And we recently came back from uh, Sedona, Arizona. And we were lucky enough to have my dear friend, one of my best friends, Nicole, um, with us um, for the f- most of the trip. We were lucky. Um, and she took us around Sedona. And if those of you that have been to Sedona, you know how gorgeous it is with the red rocks and the hiking and just the cool temperatures, like coming out of the pool and running for your um, towel because it, there's no humidity. It, it brought me back to like childhood when you would like go on down the slip and slide <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, it's so cold. And you go get your towel. Um, it was amazing. It was a really amazing trip. Um, what put a downer on that trip was, um, not that you guys would know, but Stefano's dad was in the hospital um, quite, um, it was quite scary for our whole family. Uh, especially my husband and um and his and his stepmom and my mother-in-law and uh, f- thankfully everything is okay. He is home. They did surgery on his colon and he is is getting back to being stronger and which is amazing and I'm very very grateful that I sent my angels his way um to help him and to be by his side and keep him strong and and we're very very happy. Um, So Sedona was kind of, no, not kind of, it was an emotional trip. Now, Sedona is very, um, there's a lot of energy going on in that city, which I did not know of. I didn't know it was going to do this to my body and my anxiety went through the roof and I got into fights with Stefano and I didn't want to do that. But there's all these vortexes of energy that you can see in the juniper trees. And I've bought a bunch of pictures um, with that. Um, anyway, not doing with Italy, dealing with Italy, but again, a different type of energy. <laughs> and I really, it was very powerful. And um, I felt really connected to the place. Um, but yet it did give me, when I was leaving, it's, it was strange. Like I kind of felt more relaxed. I felt like it was definitely heightening my anxiety. So those of you that have never been to Sedona, if you have anxiety issues, it's probably going to turn them up a whole hell of a lot. (laughs) And if you don't, if you're confident and you feel always amazing, you might even feel even more amazing. This is what I'm told. This is what Nicole told me as well. So Nicole, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'll have her on the podcast and she can tell me about it and tell me what she knows. She knows a lot about Sedona. Anyway, Sedona was great. It was another great vacation, another great thing to get away, but we were always happy to be back because we got to see our cats again and they were missing us. And if you hear some cats meowing in the background, that's what's going on. They usually just bother me when I'm at my desk. That's what they do because they love me. And yes. (laughs) So back to Italy. So those of you that don't know, if you don't follow me on on the gram, the Instagram, or the face, the Facebook, um, truly Italy at both places, truly Italy, Italy underscore truly underscore Italy on Instagram. If you were writing that down, which I doubt you were, um, so I'm I've launched the next the the the, the real inaugural travel experience with truly Italy. 
Yeah. It's finally happening. Since 2020, I was going to do one this September, had to cancel it. It was just too much up in the air. I don't like not being prepared. <laughs> and if last year taught us anything is that you're never prepared, right? So I canceled it anyway because I wanted to make it better um, and, and organize it better and have better experiences and and I'm in the works of trying to find a chef for or someone that comes in to cook for us in Puglia. Anyway, side note, you know, my tangents. And so, yeah, so next June 2022, the 4th through the 11th, we're going to Campo Sevoli, guys. I have nine spots. I think I have two maybe taken. Maybe I'm going to knock on some wood. Maybe I have a really good friend and her husband are coming. So men and women, if you know of anybody or if you want to go, guys, you have a whole year to plan. You have a whole year to pay for it. Um, I do have payment plans. It's $28.59, a $500 deposit. It's there. It's right there. Okay. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be pasta making. We're going to go to Chitona. We're going to go to San Cachana de Bani. We're going to go to a vineyard. We're going to... I, um, what else I have planned? We have optional yoga classes and meditation classes because I'm not going to, you know, just cater it just to yogis. I want everybody to come and experience this beautiful land and the food and the wine and be completely present in this place, this sacred, sacred place. Um, Valentina, who is the owner of Campo Sevoli, who is my (laughs) ex-boss, She is going to um, give a private tour of the museum that her aunt curated of the land and of um, Campo Sevoli. Like, it's amazing the relics that this woman collected. And it's just really cool to see. Um, Yeah, we're going to have everything on site, cooking, um, uh, meals will all be on site, except when we go out, which we probably would want to go out a lot. And, you know, there's just so much to do. And if you wanted to, like, do, uh, go to a different city uh, or go to the seaside because it's June. It's going to be warm. It's going to be gorgeous. I've got places to take you, okay? Or tell you to go, not take you. I can't take you unless you want to pay for me. (laughs) But I don't think I can. Anyway, beautiful places all down the seaside, on the Tuscan side. If you wanted to go to Puglia by yourself. I mean, I know. I know places, guys. I'm so passionate about this and I'm so wanting to show you how Italy really is. It's not all about Amalfi as much as Amalfi is beautiful and um, Capri and Sorrento. Like all those places are gorgeous, but it's not, that's not the real Italy. That's the very touristy Italy right there as much as there's a lot of other things to see in Amalfi. Okay, I'm totally, I digress. I digress. Okay. Whew. So, June 2022, it is open. Contact me, email me, trulyitalytours at gmail.com. Or if you know me, you know my private email. I'm not going to give that out right now, but you know, you know me. So, me and Stefano are actually going to Italy on a COVID-free flight at the end of July. Yay! (laughs) I'm imagining like, you know everyone cheering for us and I'm yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> this is how I am I'm like yay I'm so excited but we're going to be with his parents and to be meet, see his family we haven't seen his family in over we didn't see him in 2019 for my sister's wedding that's for sure we just saw his parents um oh no we did see them anyway whatever it's been tw- since 2019 okay we're gonna see his uncle probably gonna see his sister of course and his dad and other aunts and people that we missed last time. So we're very excited. We're going to do that. And then we're also going to go for Christmas in, in December to spend time with his dad and his stepmom. And it's just going to be, it's going to be great because I'm going to meet with some of the people that are my vendors and that I want to work with in the future. Like my friend, Max, who Max, I'm trying to get on this podcast, but Max thinks his English is not good enough. And I know it's fine. And he knows my Italian. It's not the best. <laughs> So, so Max owns a company called Tuscany for You, and he is a tour guide. He drives around Tuscany. He knows all the places in Chianti, and like it's he's a great, great spirit. And I can't wait to work with him. So I'm trying to get him on the podcast. 
um, again, I digress, COVID-free flights. That's where I was going. So there's a lot of steps to take to take a COVID-free flight now. And I am I am going to be documenting all my steps, either through my stories on Instagram or I'm going to definitely do a video when I get to Italy and like explain my process and like how it ha- how how it was for me. Um, because there's a lot of it's, it seems like a lot of paperwork because you have to get so many different tests. Um, but I'm going to I'm planning on documenting it. So everybody knows, and if you're planning on going in September, like my friend Chelsea, who again, I'm going to try to get her again, get on this podcast this this month because Italy talk is my thing. <laughs> well, I like it. Well, I got a lot. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to document it, probably put it on my stories because probably the best way to do it. Um, and then do a video either on my Facebook page on Truly, Truly Italy Tours uh, on Facebook um, so you guys can see how it was and what my experience was, what our experience was. And it's just about following rules, really. I, I recently saw my friend Cherry, who owns my Be- my Bella Vita Travel, and she put up a just she's in Calabria right now. She has a, a company that she has small group tours in Calabria and heritage tours, people that have ancestors that have moved to the States. And then, you know, the ancestors want to come back and see what the what what the what's it about? Why? What's it about in Calabria? Like, (laughs) why did my family live here and learn about their family? Anyway, so I watched her video about how she came through, went from Dallas to JFK and then JFK to Rome. And she talked about her experience in like a 10 minute video. It was, it was helpful. It was helpful. Any, any type of knowledge I can spread out to my fellow Italia lovers and travel junkies and wanderlust people, I'm going to give it to you because I love, love, love helping people get to Italy (laughs) because I can go to Italy then, right? I will take you there. I'm so excited. June, 2022. Okay. So COVID-free flights. Yes. So then we, like I said, we're going to travel in July, end of July, and then also December for Christmas, which again, we're very excited about. Um, So upcoming podcast episodes. I am working hard on getting some really cool people I'm still trying. I'm I'm still trying. I'm I want these interviews to be helpful. Um that helps people that want to step out of their comfort zone, you know, step out of the box and and do something really extravagant and 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 extraordinary and like something no one in your family's ever done. Either let it be studying abroad, maybe learning a new language or moving abroad. Or starting a business abroad, or starting a business, or whatever it might be. I hope this these interviews and these these talks inspire you to do something different. Because like we know from last year, this life is short, and we really just got to embrace all that we have, all the time we have left, all the time that we have in front of us, this present moment right now, like you're listening to me right now, this moment right now, like embrace it, don't take it for granted, honor yourself and where you are appreciate all that you are and that all that you want to become and all that you want to do and if you want to make that flight to Italy and you want to come with me June 20 June 2022 guys this is the time I am your sign now okay so I don't think I talked about him I might have talked about him my 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 philosophy professor from university from St. Mary's uh, in Winona, Minnesota, not the one in California. Um, He and I just um, started talking again. And I haven't talked to him in probably, probably since my wedding, which was 2014, 2021. Uh, We, we did exchange emails here and there, but we've never talked on the phone in a really long, we haven't talked on the phone in a really long time. I used to call him from Italy when I was living there. Um, He's just a real confidant. And he actually inspired me to become an English teacher and move and stu- and and teach abroad. And that was like my ticket to Florence. That was what I made. That was my living. I was making a living as an English teacher. Really bad living, but <laughs> a living in and of itself, it was it was enough. It, it made ends meet and I was able to enjoy my life there. And nothing extravagant, nothing luxury, but I I learned how to make ends meet and I learned how to budget and I learned how to 
um, to live in Florence as a resident for four and a half years. And then I met Stefano and we decided to come back here. And he said this to me the other day. He's just like, I'm the one that made you come back here. I know you don't want to be here. I'm like, I know it's fine. It's not you. I mean, we had a choice. I had a choice to say I wanted to come back here. We will be back there in about 20 years when we retire. <laughs> so yeah, so John is a philosophy professor. Well, was. He's retired now. And we had a great talk. And I asked him if he would be willing to be on my podcast and we can just talk about the time leading up to me moving abroad. Because I kept asking him for advice and like he would keep saying, I have nothing to give you. Like you already know what you want to do. I'm just following along for the ride. Like he he never said one thing or the other. And that's what he reminds me of my friend Pasquale because Pasquale is similar in that effect. And I think I've talked about him a lot on this podcast, um, that he, he does the same thing as John and he, he doesn't tell me like, Oh, you should do that. Or you, you need to do this or follow this road. Or it always is like a question. Like, what do you think if you did this? Like, what would this do for you? But, you know, and it was always a pondering thing. So I pondered it. I thought about it and you know, it was my choice in the end to, find all the papers, become a British citizen and move abroad and find a job and find an apartment. Like I did all that. I did all that. And he was the one that inspired me to, and, and, and this is the, the, the quote he wrote to me before I moved abroad. I think now I'm, now I'm going to forget it because I'm on the spot. I'm going to pull up my website real fast because <laughs> I have it on my website. Um, but he said this one quote and it always stuck out to me. And I always put like John Poling said this, but I always knew it wasn't him because he always used to quote and he still does. He quotes, um, philosophers because obviously he knows all the philosophers. Um, I think the Royal ro road to achieving genuine happiness in life is going the bloody hard way. Wittgenstein. Um, and when I saw it, like, achieving genuine satisfaction, like, not happiness, not abundance, not, the, like, just satisfaction with what you're doing and going the bloody hard way, like, obviously, he's British, Wittgenstein, um, is what I was feeling I was doing when I decided to move abroad in, tw in 2009. Like, the bloody hard way. This is fucking hard. Like, I had to go downtown. I went to the consulate. I went through a ceremony. I, you know, it was hard. But... I wanted to do it. Like, this was my chance to do it. I was 27, 28 years old doing this. Like, ugh, like it was what I needed to do. So anyway, John, I'm hoping I can get on here um, sometime, maybe next week. Um, he's on vacation. Anyway, then I got my friend Sarah. Um, I'm going to say her last name wrong. Aim, 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 harm, arm, arm, ham, arm, ham. I don't. Sarah, <laughs> she makes this gorgeous jewelry um, in Florence. She's been living there over 10 years. She's married to a, a very nice man, Luigi, um, from Calabria, I believe. And she's originally from California. I met her through my friend Laura, who they were both working at the same uh, tour agency at the time. That's how we all met in 2008, I think. And um, so, yeah. So Sarah... I met her in 2015 in, in the city of Chicago. She was doing a um, Etsy um, show with her jewelry. I mean, Stefano went down with my sister. My sister was still living in the city. And, and I got to see her. And I hadn't seen her, like, well, since, you know, year before. Because I moved away. Or two years before. Because I left in 2013. And it was, like, great. And she's... And I remember the day I I I, I had, was hanging out with her, with Laura and this other girl, Lisa... And we were all Americans and we were, we were hanging out in Florence. We were in Sant'Ambrogio in, that, in, the, in the, that zone, in that piazza. And we were like sitting around one night. And Sarah, I remember saying to one of her other friends, and I was just there. And she's like, I really want to make jewelry as my job. And I just looked at her. I'm like, I know you're going to do that. 
And she hardly knew me, I think, at the time. But she was like, oh, my God, Katie, thank you so much. I'm like, I always remember that because now she's thriving. Um, well, not as thriving as probably she'd like to be because of the pandemic. Um, Because she used to have a storefront and she had to let it go. It's just really sad. But I want to give her as much press as possible because I think she is amazing. I think she makes amazing jewelry. I've bought a few pieces from her. And I'm just and she's she's so fun to be around. And I I miss hanging around her and in Florence and stuff. It's been a long time. So yeah, she's going to come on the podcast. Um, I can't wait to have that conversation. We'll talk about, you know, making a life in Italy and because we both know how that is. And I talked about Max. So Max Tuscany for you. He's going to come on. I hope, I hope he's, he's dodging my text messages now. I think he's just nervous, but I'm hoping I can get him on because he'll eventually be part of, um, truly Italy because I want to use him when we're in Florence so he can take us to, um, to the Chianti, to Monteferrale, where Lorenzo and Manila are. They, um, own that, well, his family, Lorenzo's family owns uh, Monteferrale, the vineyard, and it's just, it's an awesome borgo. It's a little town. Oh my God. I just want to take you everywhere, guys. I want to take you everywhere. Who are you listening? (laughs) Who's there? Who's out there? I want to take you all these cool places. So um, Max would be a hoot to have on because he has so much knowledge and about Tuscany, about Italy, and I'm just loving, loving having him on. And then Chelsea, I'm I'm gonna get her back probably sooner rather than later because she's even she's already started texting me going, "When are we gonna talk again?" Because <laughs> it's really fun for us just to chat. And you guys know from the last episode, which was this past episode, we just talked about Italy and how we became about like how Italy came into our lives and how it's still in our lives and why it's in our lives. And there's so much more to talk about. And those of you that love Italy talk, uh, that's one you need to listen to. Full show. All right. Well, I don't have much more here. Um, I'm going to start, you know, if those of you that are listening and, and are avid listeners and enjoy this podcast, please um, rate me on Apple Podcasts. That's like the only place you can send me a nice little review and what you liked about it. Um, And like, if you have any questions, anything you want me to, you know, direct to you specifically, maybe you're thinking about moving abroad and maybe you're wanting to try to find a job or maybe the process of getting the right papers, put my Swedish journal or I don't know if, if there's anything that's, you know, I, I've been around the block when it comes to trying to move to Italy <laughs> and and there's just so many avenues you know without having just a an Italian husband right you need you can do it other ways it's possible I did it without any man which I adamantly did because there's no way hell I almost said the bad word that I was going to do it with a man in my life so I did it on my own so if you have any questions um, please feel free to email me truly Italy tours at gmail.com and I'll make it a podcast episode and we can discuss it. Maybe I'll bring somebody on that have, has done it and they know the process because in Italy, everything changes all the time. Even the, the tax codes change every two seconds. The, the where you pay for things like bills changes all the time, like all these things. They're just, it's always, um, it was always very fun to be living in Italy because you never knew what was going to change next. <laughs> Where am I going to go? For what? For this? Whatever. I don't know. <sighs> so, yeah. I can keep talking to you guys, even though there's nobody actually answering me right now. <laughs> but I, I could keep talking, but I'm not. I'm going to leave this with June 2022. We're going to Tuscany, guys. The 4th through the 11th. Contact me, trulyitalytours at gmail.com. Go to trulyitaly.tours for more information. It's a $500 deposit and then it's twenty it's $28.59 total. Okay. And yeah, men, women, children, it's every, everybody's invited. Everybody. Okay. Allora, ci si vede. A presto. Ciao, ciao. I am beyond grateful for you listening to my podcast right now. I am so excited to share my journey of living abroad and all my stories of Florence and Italy and all the places in between that I've visited. If this has reached you in any way and you would like to continue, please subscribe now. Also, go check out my website, trulyitaly.com. 
stop tours for all my travel experiences. Ci si vede. Ciao.